Well, folks, beautiful spring day. Decided to try out the JCB for the first real project. I've been using the bucket a little bit here and there. Only have eight or nine hours on it, so not a lot of time. Um, you know, I'll tell you more about this. Uh, the JCB, the verdict's still out on that. Um, man, today's just one of those days things were not going right for us, and it became a very expensive day. My brother smoked me last time best of seven series and uh, around the world basketball inside the gym there, inside the barn I should say. So I'm gonna do a rematch today, see if I can come out on top and reclaim top dog status. Well, even figuring out how to operate this third function on this thing, you have all sorts of auxiliary uh, hydraulics on the JCB and they operate differently than the 333, they operate differently than the, uh, the cat that I had before that, before the three, what I have, a 330G, they operate different than all of those other ones. And Chris and I were working on this thing for, well, a whole drone battery worth, a half hour, trying to figure out how to get the stupid jaws to open and close, and we finally figured out the sequence. The, the function that controls it, though, is on the skid steer movement joystick. So you use the auxiliary function on there instead of, you would think you would use the loader joystick in your right hand, you'd use the auxiliary function there to open and close the jaws of the grapple like you would on a tractor, or on my other skid steers that I've had, but we we got at least opening and closing so we rolled with it there's got to be a way to to get around that but oh yeah chris says we even switched the auxiliary connections so there's extra extra auxiliary connections on here and we connected to the other pair of them didn't matter which pair we connected to and the same auxiliary circuit the little switch the little thumb control on the drive joystick still controlled it no matter which one we connected to which i thought was very odd the machine's smarter than I am, so I'm sure it's, it's operator error. But anyway, several things going on. We have downed trees, dead trees, all that kind of stuff. Have a fence post I'm gonna try to repurpose uh, for the grapevines and, and try to re-anchor that there. We'll see if that pans out or not. And we're gonna see the power of the JCB, all right? Now, this machine off the top of my head weighs close to what my 333G weighs, but it's about 25 horsepower less uh, lift capacity is fairly close though too, it's rated for, so it should have a lot of oomph. But what I found just driving this thing around is that it tends to kind of want to almost bog down if you're going up, it just struggles if you're going up hills. It's like, eh, it's straining and everything else and that's really annoying, right? I mean, this thing's $105,000, it shouldn't strain just driving up a hill. Not in fast mode, just in regular mode, there should be these aren't crazy hills, I'm out in the mountains. These are just nice little rolling gentle hills, baby hills. So that's annoying, don't love that. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood, just complaining today. Things aren't going the way that they should, but the first trees, we cut a bunch of those down in the fall, this little cluster right in the middle of the field. I wanna turn that into a food plot later this year. JCB did really well. And this tree puller, I should say, I'll tell you more about that. Haven't used this in a while. We used this out at another property a decent amount and then, um, just hadn't had a need for it you know you do a lot of your projects and and then it just kind of sits for a while and now we have all these uh new trees and new things to do for it on the new property and we find us, ourselves using it again and i like to be tough on my equipment and um well let's just say i put a hole in the guard of the tree puller today ran over a 1200 hundred dollar drone knocked off a, another camera and a microphone and um we're gonna have to have a lot of views on this video to make up for that. Oh, the good news though is that we found the mic and the camera that we lost and thinking that they're still gonna work. I don't know, we'll find out. So we might have recovered some stuff there, but that drone, that drone has seen its better day. So we're looking at as a precision tree puller. Now this thing is actually an older model. They've got a new and improved version out that's a little bit longer. The jaws open a little bit wider. Um, it might have some other improvements too off the top of my head. I can't think, but you're looking at an old version. You can't even get this version anymore. You're going to get a, a better version of it and the price remained the same. They just made it better. So that's pretty awesome. I like working with companies like that. You can order it through our website. Pretty much everything with precision is made to order. Depending on the time of year is gonna determine how long the lead time is. And in, in the off season, the lead time is pretty quick. Um, and, and peak season, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. So try to plan ahead if you can. But this thing is built like an absolute tank. I don't wanna give you a, a complete overview. We've done a video overview of this, showing you all the features and everything else, but it is thick steel everywhere on this thing. It weighs, I think over a thousand pounds if I recall correctly. And um, I was just beating trees with this thing. It is just beating it both with the points on there with a cage, trying to rake 
and knock down limbs that were in the way so I could get nice and close to uh, the trunk as well to try to, to pull out. But you can, you can pull with this thing, you can dig with this thing, you can cut with it, you can do whatever you need to to just work a tree out of the ground. And we were tackling big trees. Some of these trees had been dead obviously for a while and pulled out easier than others. There was a couple that we try, you'll see it in here that are, well, we, I didn't have enough patience for that today. It would have taken quite some time. Uh, big ones that are well-rooted, that are either not dead enough or I just didn't want to spend the amount of time digging around there and digging all those stumps out and cutting roots and all that kind of thing uh, for this video. But you can get it done. We've done it in other videos too and shown you live trees, dead trees, whatever it is. Uh, this thing will tackle it. And I should mention the fact that you can get these tree pullers, not just for skid steers, but you can get them for tractors as well. And I would recommend a large tractor, like a utility tractor, like that big Kubota that I have, uh, or something in that size range. Uh, maybe like a 4066, an L6060 at the absolute smallest end of the spectrum. Um, the pullers are very heavy themselves. You got to have a lot of weight, a lot of oomph behind that too. So it's not for a small tractor that's just not a tool to use for that but if you have something big like a utility tractor you're right in the wheelhouse for it you're going to have a limitation always what i'm finding is that i am going to likely get my 333g back out here and i'm going to take this jcb to the shop we need something that can lift a lot of weight at the shop something more than our forklifts can so we're going to see if this machine here can lift a bunk of snow pushers. That's our heaviest thing. It weighs 5,000 ish pounds, give or take a little bit, depending on uh, how it's configured. If this thing can lift that up over there, I think I'm going to keep my 333G out here for me, and this thing can live over at the shop. And I feel like that's probably a little bit of a strange thing to say because this is the brand new machine. I love the side door entry on it but I just like the 333. Um, I love being able to get out of the cab and, and have an attachment up in the air. Like if you're picking up something with a set of paddle forks or a grapple or whatever, you can get out of the cab safely and get around and, and do whatever you have to do and then get back in the cab. You can't do that with the 333G with the loader boom up, but that thing just has power for days. I just absolutely love it. Um, so far, maybe I'll come around on this JCB, but my initial impressions are I wouldn't get another one. Folks, we've been behind on announcing the winners for the Golden Grease giveaway, and that is totally my fault. We were on vacation at the start of the month, and then it just behind the eight ball. So there are five winners we're going to announce right now that won the Golden Grease giveaway package. So I'll send you an email as well, and we'll get that process started, then hook you up directly with AET Loop Shuttle. All right, so you can get the kit sent to you. Without further ado, our five winners are Daniel Banks. Denise Gronke, Cliff Lyles, Martin Bird, and Jeremy Nelson. We had all sorts of entries, had a lot of folks, again, I tried to make it easier. A lot of folks still couldn't find it. We're going to do another one hopefully next month here, as long as you guys enjoy doing it. It's just kind of fun, it just mixes it up and you have a chance to win something at no cost to you. We ripped some welds, we broke some welds over here. This is a safety cage to protect the operator. Um, so what I did is treat it like a big rake and rake off branches so I could get closer to the tree trunks. And so it must've caught a branch or something just right and did that. Again, that's my bad. That is not the fault of precision. If you can look really close in the video today, you'll see I'm, uh, I, I'm, just, I'm just beating this thing to death. So anyway, a lot of fun. Wanted to point that out. See some damage on there. That's the only thing. Other than that, we're good to go. It's getting more gorgeous by the second though right now. The birds are chirping, everything's starting to green up, the sun's feeling warm. It's just, a, it's, my mood's changing. So anyway, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed today's video, we want to have you tag along. Subscribe to see more videos completely free for you. If you do like what you saw, we have over 600 other videos out right now that you can go ahead and browse. And if you're in the market for something for your tractor or your skid steer, we sell all sorts of attachments for front end loaders and three point hitches too. We include shipping, rewards, and financing too. So I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon. Hey, and make sure you stick around if you wanna see that rematch, it's coming up now. Okay, we're rolling. Coming up a, coming up a what? Uh, I don't even remember. Well, I do, and the camera does, for nothing. Yeah, that was, you go first, you want savage? Savage. Savage. Oh. I'm no loser. <clears throat> all right, all right.
what's all this, uh, you know, brush, like, circular staining from? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. However they use their concrete thing, it looks like. It was the pattern, you know. I just didn't remember it being there at the beginning. Well, well, no, I do. It's all over, different different colors. It'll be covered anyway when I get it painted. I gotta get Jeff out here. Do the panels on those garage doors. That's terrible. A little weak this morning. So cold playing, I don't yeah. know why. I mean, there's still that weird stain there, too. You know, I took everything I had to get it over there. My toenails are both being ripped off on my small second toes from running yesterday. Wow. Well, one of them, one of them's from uh, Saturday. Not even close, not even close. Ugly. Way too deep. A foot deep. Oh my gosh. Off the side of the rim and in. What nothing? I've still, since we've been recording this, never got past that middle point. Oops. Farthest I've gotten on, on video. All right. Oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go too crazy. Yep.
it's going to be a better game than yesterday. Yeah, best, best game ever. One one. One one. First, first game. I can do it. Ah. <clears throat> See that foil mower out there? Yeah. Look. I guess it was the. Is it the? Is it the? Uh, it's not the Centurion, is it's it? It's a flipper super, so flipper. it's like Centurion, but bigger. It's bigger? Yeah. Another foot wider. Weighs 11. It's not as wide as the tractor, though, is it? Uh, the overall working width is, or the overall width almost is, but it cutting width is narrower. Oh my, I can't, I can't hardly get it over there right now. Hurts, hurts. Close. Yeah. I have to do a jump shot here. Yeah. Ah, terrible. Oh. This is just not going to be pretty. Oh! Here's what we got to deal with now. What? This is what we got to deal with now. Well, not if you don't take such bad shots. Oh, man. You can make some progress here. Neither of us has made a shot in quite some time. Huh? Neither of us has made a shot in quite some time. No, I, I feel like I can't get it there anymore. Is that sweatshirt? My feet are super sweaty. My legs hurt. All from working out. I'm with you. Nope. Shapers. Oh! <sighs> I get another one, huh? <clears throat> oh, 0 for 2. Wasted opportunity. Can't waste it. Yep. No. Oh, my. These are just, just bad. <sighs> All of these are just at the back of the rim. <sighs> ah. This is this is a struggle of a game. You get the mowers that also tilt up. They're not as big because it's all that weight that can be like yeah. way out there. Still at the back of the rim. I just turned my whole body. Ah! Terrible. This this is rough. 
Oh my! Oh, so close. No, that's an air ball. That was just net. You count that as an air ball? That's just net. Well, net hit something. No, net's not, not part of it. Man, that's like the fourth one. Back of the rim, back of the rim, back of the rim. Ah, man, garbage. Almost an air ball. That was horrible. Well, all right. I don't even want to try anymore. Two to one. Welcome to my world yesterday. You didn't have to sit there and try 20 times. I just, well, I just knocked you out. I've done that many times, though. I mean, I've, I've struggled many times. I'll try to knock you out quick this time. Yeah, I, I can't do it. Man! Your shot. Unreal. Two rattle in and out. Are you? Oh my. Come on. Oh, I struggled so much on this one last time too. My opportunities if you come back got nobody but myself to blame here oh can't get it there come on literally all over it nope oh come on nope that was the worst shot yet Ooh. that was pretty good though that's pretty good. My lead is dwindling. Been on this shot for I can't, I can't. Nine shots or something. Oh come on man. Come on, that's it. Oh my gosh. doesn't work but I got in with the key yeah but then it let me in and it started beeping yeah put the key in the 
down the thing. Down in the thing. And then hit hit that to turn it off. I turned that off, but it's, your lights are still blinking. The four boy blank uh, blinkers. I don't oh, know. I turned them off. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, big game. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! Let's do it. Can't oh. wear cotton socks, man. My oh, feet you're there, sweat. huh? What? My feet sweat so much in cotton socks. Hey, you know. Marino. Cotton. The comfort of cotton. They don't talk about the sweat of cotton. It's awful. Huh? It's awful. Awful. It's like, it's like they're swimming right now. I'm not even like running around. <sighs> oh! That's what I needed. Oh! Oh! Ooh, Fine. knockdown. Fine. Oh man, that was trash. Oh my lord. Yes. Got a little Russian. excited there. Russian. Ooh. Something in my eye. Okay, two to one. What? Two to one. That's it? Yeah. I thought it was three to one. Is it just two to one? I don't believe so. You won the first game and I only won two in a row? Yeah. Ah, okay. That's fine. <sighs> These games have just been a lot longer than they were yesterday. I sure have. Lose, been. lose track. Man, I got something right in my eye. Okay, back on track. No, that's the, I make oh. those all the time. This, I can't shoot long right now. Well, three in a row. That's in fuego. It takes everything I can to get it there. Huh? You know, maybe you should man up, Chris. Want to do a push up contest? No. I just did a chest workout yesterday. Mm, me too. Ooh. <sighs> Come to you. Oh. Ooh. I'm just gonna hang out back here in the first spot. Oh, off to the right. I just did, but I just tweaked my ankle somehow. Is it? My right one, I don't even know. Yup. All right, off the starting blocks. Oh. No! Come on. Nope. Oh, yes. Oh. Come on, man. All right. Can't even shoot the ball straight. This way, that way. Oh. Nope. Still can't shoot it straight.
get on a roll. Oh my, oh my. I thought that was going in. Oh. Come on! That's a good shot. I'm close. Two to two. Whoo! Sweat. Boy, I am trash. Oh. Oh, cow. What? What? What kind of roll is that? Holy cow! Oh, that boy. That's what I needed. All right. Oh. Uh. Just a horrible break. Oh no. Oh, terrible. Oh. What he does. Yep. I can't make this shot at all. Oh. 
just an embarrassment. Life's a struggle. Oh my gosh. Got one chance, Courtney. One chance. Make it count. Three, two. Nope. Oh no, you have a shot. Dang it! Dang it! I forgot you had a shot. Not sure. Ah. Yeah. All right. Just playing head games, you know. Cheap. Three, two. Creepers. Can't make a free throw. <laughs> 